Welcome, I'm Andrea Gozzi, Technical Director at Redbatica, and in this video I'll talk about Kima Pro 2. Kima Pro is an application for creating and editing sampled instruments, and it has been designed to be like Photoshop for sampled instruments. It is not a plugin, it is not a replacement for your sampler, and actually it's a fantastic complement to your sampler. It also offers an almost endless number of simple to use features designed for musicians, not engineers. Kima Pro supports all the most important sampled instrument formats, so we have the XS24 for Logic, Mainstage and GarageBand, Contact from Native Instruments, Structure for Pro Tools and the NXT Sampler for Reason. Let's start from the simplified keymap mode. In this mode we have the virtual keyboard at the top, a mapping matrix where to place our samples and the sample editor at the bottom. So let's build an instrument. Here there is a folder with some samples from analog synthesizer. We use drag and drop. And then we use pitch detection to auto map our instrument automatically. The samples are not looped, so we will also auto-loop them. And now we can play the instrument. and we can export it to multiple formats, the XS, Contact, Structure and the NNXT. Here are the instruments, the sample files. So we made our first instrument in Keymap, and we did not touch any slider, we did not enter any number, we did not use the sample editor and everything was one or two commands away. Let's switch to the advanced mode by clicking the blue button at the top right. In advanced mode the complete keymap user interface is shown and as you can see there are many controls but don't panic because it's still all quite simple to use. I'm building another instrument this time and it's a percussion kit. I drag and drop this folder with some conga samples. It's cool to play. I also want a copy of these samples on a single key so I can play them using velocity. So let's copy them and now I manipulate these zones using some remapping and auto mapping functions and they are very powerful in Keymap as they let you change your zones without having to edit them one by one. I'm using a remap pivot to place all the selected samples on a single key. But now my samples are not neatly sorted by velocity, so I'll use the auto map velocity function to fix that. This is now very playable. Now I want to add a second percussion, a tambourine, so I drag and drop the folder. Notice how Keymap created a second layer for my folder. Using layers in Keymap for different sounds is a great way to keep the mapping matrix view uncluttered and focused on what you do. If I double click the empty matrix background or press the layer button, I see all my layers and I can select them. They are also shown in the layers table at the right. I repeat what I did for the conga, so it's copy, pivot and auto map velocity. Now 
In KeyMap you always edit one layer at once, but sometimes it's useful to see the content of other layers while we edit a different one. So I'll enable the background view mode on both layers so I can see them simultaneously. And keep in mind that I'm always editing the selected layer only. This is just a view option. Now I want to place the conga on white keys and the tambourine on black keys as they will be much easier to play for me in that way. So I'm using the remap to black keys and remap to white keys commands on each layer. I just want to add the last set of metallic samples and this time I want to be able to play them at different pitches. So I drag and drop the files and then I'm using the remap to range command to remap my samples to a different section of the keyboard. Each sample will cover 5 notes on the keyboard and so we will be able to play it at different pitches. The light red notes on the keyboard represent the root notes for samples. Well, this instrument is now ready to be saved, but as last thing I want to show you how to merge layers. Just keep in mind that when merging layers, overlapping zones are not allowed. 